If you've got yourself a Mac Mini and are looking for essential accessories that aren't going to break the bank, in this video I'll show you my budget accessories for the Mac Mini. What attracted me to this M1 Mac Mini mainly was the price, but I have to admit I was a little apprehensive about moving from Windows to Mac, simply because I'd never used a Mac of any type before. But nonetheless, I took the plunge and here we are. This M1 Mac Mini is the base model at 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. I'm not going to go into depth in this video, but if you'd like to see my thoughts on this M1 Mac Mini as a total novice, just let me know in the comments below. Obviously with buying a Mac Mini you're only going to get that desktop element of the whole system. So you're going to need to buy some essential accessories that are going to make this usable. Let's see if we can do all this within a budget of let's say £900, including the Mac Mini itself. So let's add that budget counter and add the outlay of this baseline Mac Mini. I'm going to show you my accessories that I bought for my setup that enable me to do my day job, listen to music, edit videos and do generally computery stuff. Firstly, you're going to need a monitor. I've got this one, the Samsung 24 inch CF390 Full HD curved monitor, and I've got it for 130 pounds. It has a 1920 by 1080 resolution display, four milliseconds of response time, 60 Hertz refresh rate, and connects to the Mac mini via HDMI. I like this monitor because for me it's just the right size at 24 inches. It has a really nice colour production and if I'm playing on my PlayStation 4 I can plug it in and it's a really great monitor for that casual gaming experience. Next you're going to need a keyboard. I've got the Logitech K380 wireless multi-device keyboard at £32. Because the Mac Mini is so small in nature, I didn't want a big keyboard with the additional number pad, so the small and light K380 fit my criteria perfectly. I've used wireless keyboards in the past and found the battery life really bad, but with this you've got, depending on your use, up to two years of battery life. Because of the Mac Mini's well documented Bluetooth issue which hinders some and not others, you may experience connection issues at the startup screen depending on what version of Mac OS you have, but there are temporary and alternate ways to fix the problem. For me those problems that once existed no longer affect my use of the keyboard at the startup screen. On this keyboard you're also able to connect three Bluetooth devices which can be connected to by pressing the appropriate numbered Bluetooth button. I've got this connected to my Mac Mini, my iPad and my PlayStation 4. The last essential item that I've got is the Logitech Pebble M350 mouse at £20, which not only goes perfectly with the Mac Mini, but also complements the Logitech keyboard as well. The only thing is, I wish I'd bought both the keyboard and the mouse in the same, or near same colours. This small wireless mouse with its silent touch technology means I can work effortlessly and for longer without disturbing others. While both this and the keyboard can connect to the Mac Mini wirelessly via Bluetooth, meaning that you're not using up the ports on the back of the Mac Mini, the mouse also has a Wi-Fi dongle on board allowing you to either connect to the Mac Mini via Wi-Fi or attach the dongle to another device and toggle connections between the two and multitask. Those are my three essential accessories for the Mac Mini if you're looking at getting up and running with the system. As you can see, I've come in under my budget of £900 at £881. But are there other accessories that aren't as essential but may be useful, particularly with some of them if you already have them already? I have this USB-C SD card adapter, which helps me quickly upload any footage I've taken with my camera and save to its SD card. A USB-C adapter with another USB-A port, HDMI port and a VGA port. Important if you want to add other screens to your setup. Alternatively, you can get full USB hubs with the same, more ports or different options at either around the same price or more expensive than these. A very optional Mac Mini mount, which attaches to the back of your monitor and gives the whole setup the look of being a lot less cluttered. The Seagate 2TB portable external hard drive. Some people may put this in essential accessories, but depending on your Mac Mini configuration, you may not need additional storage space. But for me, this is vital for any backup data you've got. Without this, I would have used all my storage on the Mac Mini already. When the hard drive is plugged into the Mac Mini, I use Velcro strips on the back to mount the hard drive to the back of the monitor, just so it's out of the way. As it's always plugged in, I don't need it to be in an accessible position. The next couple of items are what I'd consider to be luxury items, so I won't count them in the totals, but I'll still talk about them. Sound-wise, because the Mac Mini's native speakers aren't the best, I tend to use a mixture of wired speakers or these Razor Kraken headphones connected to the headphone port on the back of the Mac, or my AirPods Pro, which for me provide the best most accurate sound out of the three options. 
The final accessory to my Mac Mini that I use regularly is my 2017 iPad Pro. Thanks to features like Sidecar, I'm able to use the iPad interactively as a second screen. And I've even used it as a primary screen for things like OBS control while streaming games on the Samsung monitor. And now with the long awaited universal control feature announced by Apple at last year's WWDC finally being up and running, you can use the iPad at the side of your Mac and control both devices with the same mouse and keyboard without being on the same operating system, giving you that streamlined control across Across multiple iPads and Macs. So there are my essential and optional accessories for the Mac Mini that you can definitely get if you're working to a budget. The essential ones coming in at a total of £881 which gets you a totally workable and effective setup and my optional accessories coming in at an extra £97. If you think there are more essential Mac Mini accessories that I've missed or ones that would help your workflow just pop them down in the comments below. I've reviewed most of the accessories in this video in depth on other videos so go check those out if there's anything you're interested in. My question of the video to you is if you're thinking about moving from a Windows PC or laptop to a Mac Mini or MacBook what's stopping you from doing so if money's not an obstacle? I found that after getting used to it it's not as daunting as I first thought. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you press the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. And also press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching the video, I'll see you on the next one.